activity this semester was putting it all together. Putting it all together combined all of the lectures that we completed in the last third of the semester, including paper weights and pricing, impressions, costing, times, and hours on press, and figuring the number out. If you've already gone through and completed the interactive PDF and filled out the answers, the answers should be the ones that are on the screen and matching. You can also download the PDF with the correct answers and print it for your reference. In these videos, I'm going to go through question by question how I came up with the correct answer. What's really important is that when you're supposed to round to whole sheets, you make sure that you round to whole sheets. When you have to round to whole pounds or round to two decimals, that you can recognize which you're supposed to do when. So make sure on your cheat sheet for exam number three that you write down descriptions of this should be a whole number, this should be rounded to two decimals, etc. So we're going to start with problem number one, that's the blue problem and questions one through four. Question number one asks how many out will fit on your press size sheet? For question one you have to be able to recognize what is your press size sheet and what is your item size and then above and beyond that you need to be able to know which formula to use and when calculating number out we use the option one option two scenario. In option one our press size sheet is 19 by 25 and we're going to divide that by 11 by 17 since that's the size of our wall poster. In option two, our press size sheet is still 19 by 25, but we're going to switch the bottom numbers and divide by 17 by 11. When dividing by 17 by 11, it looks like I have a little typo there, please ignore that. Um, you're in essence turning the, the wall poster 90 degrees to see if more posters will fit. The option one scenario comes out to 1.727 by 1.47. Since we can't put part of a wall poster on the press size sheet, we take the whole numbers, one times one and we figure that only one can fit out that direction. When we rotate the posters 90 degrees we come up with 1.117 by 2.272. Taking the whole numbers one times two we can fit two out on our 19 by 25 sheet of paper. Once we know that we can fit two out on a sheet of paper question two asks how many press size sheets are required for the job. The formula for calculating the total number of press size sheets is the quantity you're trying to print and that for our problem is 250,000 posters divided by the number out and we've already determined that to be two. So 250,000 posters divided by two out or two posters per sheet of paper comes out to 125,000 press size sheets being required to print the job. Question three then asks, well since you're buying 125,000 sheets of paper how much does that stock weigh? The formula for calculating stock weight or paper weight is sheet size divided by the basic sheet size and in our case we're purchasing 19 by 25 sheets of cover weight stock. So our sheet size is 19 by 25 and the basic size of cover weight stock is 20 by 26. The number of sheets that we're purchasing is 125,000 sheets. We'll divide that by 500. We always divide by 500, that number will never change. And the basis weight for our stock is 100 pounds. 19 by 25, or multiplied by 25, is 475. 20 times 26 is 520. When you divide 475 by 520, the correct decimal should be 0.913 Remember, we're just going to leave that in the calculator and then multiply across, so I would do that, that part of the equation last. The second column, 125,000 press sheets divided by 500 is 250. And then we'll bring down the basis weight of 100 pounds. So with 0.9134654 in the calculator, we'll multiply times 250 and times 100. And the total weight for our stock is 22,836.54 pounds. When you come up with the weight of your stock, you're always going to round to two decimal places. And last but not least, in the first section of putting it all together, question four asked, well, now that we know how much the stock weighs, how much will the stock cost? And the formula for calculating the stock cost is the weight divided by 100 multiplied by the 100 weight price. There are two ways to price stock. There's the M sheet pricing and the CWT pricing. We will only do CWT or 100 weight pricing on the exam. We're purchasing 22,836.54 pounds divided by 100. When you divide by 100, you can move the decimal place two spaces to the left. So we'll come up with 228.3654. Do not round any numbers until you get to the very end of your equation. 
we're going to multiply that by the hundred weight price and our example the hundred weight price is eighty nine dollars a hundred weight so twenty two uh, two hundred twenty eight point three six five four multiplied by eighty nine equals twenty thousand three hundred twenty four point five two dollars if you're able to get all four of those questions correct please move on to the next video and check your answers for questions five through eight